Hi guys, it's Charlie from Sugar Kromsky's and it's time to do our um, three week update on our Disney puppies, or our Disney dogs. So if you guys are new to watching us or don't know who we are, um, I'm Charlie from Chinook Pomsky's and we are an in-home Pomsky breeder. We're based out of Calgary and we breed Pomsky puppies and occasionally huskies. Um, but this litter here is, um, they are Pomskys and they are very cute. So these are our uh, Disney dogs. So we, not too long ago, our um, family went on a trip to Disneyland. And so when we were picking for names, this is what my kids decided they wanted best. Um, so we have our Disney dogs. And we adore them. So their mom is, um, she's what's called an F1B Pomsky, which means she's 75% Husky and 25% Pomeranian. And their dad is an F1, which is a 50-50 Split. So these puppies are slightly more husky than they are Pomeranian, but it's about like 63 to, you know, whatever mix. So they're, they're, uh, but they're very cute. They're a little bit bigger than a couple of our litters, but not much. I, um, charted out their weights, weights this week, so I'll see next week how they're doing too in comparison. But at this point... Um, I have a decent idea, I think, of how big they're going to be. And actually a little bit smaller than I thought, which is sort of nice. None of them, I don't think any of them will be over 25 pounds. Um, come here, Tramp, come here. Of course, the one that, I usually try to do them in birth order. And of course, the one I wanted wandered away. But now, at this point, they'll come. They like to play with us, so they'll come over when they're, not so much when they're called, like, individually, but, like, they'll come to us when we are talking to them or playing with them. So this here is um, Mr. Tramp. Here, I'll hold him up. You can see he's very handsome. He's going to look a lot like his mom. So if you guys follow our page, their mom is Frost. And I think he's going to look just like Frost. He is so handsome. You can see he's quite gray. He's got the dark um, down his back. Yes. And you're like, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? He has like this cute little freckle on his chin. This dog spot, it's very cute. We love him. So he's very sweet, um, and we like Tramp. And he seems to be one of the calmer ones, but of course, calm is a relative term with these puppies. So we'll see how that changes. Just now, they're starting to show more and more personality. Um, the first couple weeks, my husband just lovingly refers to them as lumps because they don't do a lot besides sleep and eat and go potty. Where now, at this age, they play, they respond to us, they respond to each other, they love to chew on their siblings. Um, they're like, they're little puppies. They act like little puppies. So we love this stage. They still sleep quite a bit, um, but they get to come out. We bring them out of the whopping box, um, to play in our room a little bit. And we slowly start introducing them to all of the other puppies, uh, or the dogs, I should say, in our house, um, in preparation for them coming downstairs to spend, um, their days downstairs with us. So Tramp is one of the bigger puppies and he's trying to be about 17 to 20 pounds is my best guess um, right now. So, but again, I usually like to do that better from a week. And two, their eye colors all know better. And then what I'm looking for right now, trying to figure out is which puppies I think are gonna have longer type coats, like their mom, as opposed to like sort of a, um, a shorter coat or more like a standard coat, like more what you see in a lot of the Pomskis. There are a lot of um, fluffy, woolly coats in Pomskis too. But uh, if you look at Frost compared to Arrow, um, which are the parents, you can see that Frost has a much longer coat. So um, a lot of these puppies, I mean, genetically the odds are 75% of the puppies will have that kind of coat. So they're just trying to work out who will have what kind of coat, which you can't tell so much when they're born. So we're sort of watching to see on that. And they're starting to um, change a little bit. So we'll I'll have a better idea on that in a week or so. So the next puppy that was born um, was Mr. Pluto here. I put them all in the corners. You guys can see them, and they all wandered away. Hi, are you waving at the camera? Say hi. I'm very cute. I'm also going to look a lot like my mama. Yes, yes, you are. He's very playful and cute. He was barking at my husband today and playing. I know. You're not sure why I'm holding you like that. He's like, what is this? What is this? We also have to tell their eye color in a week. So all puppies are sort of born with bluish eyes. Um, they're sort of dark when they first open and then they lighten and then some of them darken again and some of them don't So we'll sort of wait and see um, In a week, but they all sort of have a blue tint to them now um, 
I said you can see they're lightening up even to like his face markings have really come in um, since he was born. Right, Pluto? Yes. Mm -hmm. He was very noisy the first little while when he was born, but he's not nearly so much so now. But he does like to talk when he's playing. At this age, they're learning about, it's imagine like sort of like a two-year-old learning how to talk, so they growl quite a bit. It's like a two-year-old learning the word no and getting to use it over and over. Yeah, I hear you, Chinook. That's Chinook in the hallway. She wants to see the puppies. Um, but they, um, so they growl quite a bit and they bark and they play. They will sort of respond to us. Like if we talk to them, they'll talk back to us sometimes. So that's sort of cute. So Pluto, who I was just holding, he is trying to be about 15 to 18 pounds. So a really nice size. Um, that's what the size of Tundra is. Um, and so we've got a couple dogs that size range. Um, quite a few that have gone home, but a couple of our dogs are. And, uh. I don't know, it's sort of a nice size. Everyone has their favorite sizes. Everyone has their own feeling of what they like best. But I um, I like them when they're not too small. I like sort of the 15 to 20 pound range myself. But we have puppies that are bigger than that, puppies that are smaller than that, and I love all of them. There's lots of good and bad about each of the puppy sizes. It just sort of depends on what you're looking for. Now, where is Mr. Pongo? So, come here, Pongo. Oh, yeah. Um, I haven't done the math yet. When are they set to go home? Is it the end of November or early December? No, these guys are ready to go home like a week before Halloween. So they could go home, yeah, like the week, the week, I think Halloween's in like on, a, on the weekend. So like the week leading up to that. So uh, you can look at the calendar if you want because it's like four weeks, they're three weeks. I mean, so five weeks from today-ish. Five between five and six weeks from now, like six weeks from now. If they're staying close, we'll let them go home at eight weeks. If we're being shipping them, then they usually go home at nine weeks. This here is Mr. Pongo. He's one of the piebalds, which is why he has named after one of the Dalmatians in the 101 Dalmatians. Yes, hello, handsome. So he's a little tired. He was sleeping a minute ago. But he's been one of the most outgoing puppies. Um, he is now my one of my daughter's favorites because he's so fun and playful. So my daughters now come and they take puppies in the whelping box and keep them out for a few minutes. They'll go take them to their rooms and snuggle them or, you know, whatever. Um, so they get used to being away from each other, get used to, you know, doing new things. And, uh, but he's a very popular one. We have to remind them and make sure he's taking each one of the puppies, which my girls are really good at. They keep track of who they've taken and who they haven't yet. Um, so, but he's been very outgoing and very playful. It's kind of sad that he's so sleepy because he's been so cute playing around. Yes. Come here, lady. Oh, you're going potty. They're starting to learn. We have like a mat in here you can see, but there's like another thing underneath. This doesn't cover the whole thing. They're starting to learn where to pee versus where to sleep. So this is supposed to pee on this mat, in theory. And then when they get bigger, we take these mats downstairs and they use them to potty. So they're just starting to learn that, but they'll... they'll but they're doing good. On October 20th. Okay, so like... And then nine weeks is the 27th. Okay. So, like, about October 27th, they'll be ready to go home, approximately. So, we always, we always, we try to do nine weeks, because then we have some leeway, one way or the other, um, so that they're ready, um, depending if they're being, if they're, you know, how they're going home, and that sort of a thing. This is Miss Lady. She was the first girl that was born in a litter, although there's a couple more girls. You can see she's very pretty. And so and these cheek and eyebrow markings are coming in more and more. And uh, she's got lots of white on her tummy and on her legs. And uh, she's dark. The bags are like a really pretty, pretty girl. In fact, uh, she looks a lot like Parka. If you guys follow us, you might know who Parka the Pomsky is. Um, so Parka was, I don't know where exactly they were, but they were out on a walk out and about this week. Joy, his, his, his puppy mom, his mom. Um, and Joy's a person, not a puppy, in case that didn't make sense. But his mom, Joy, was walking him, and, and then a little girl saw him, and she goes, oh, look, a Halloween dog. And I, if you don't, if you know me, I love Halloween, so I was like, that's the best thing ever. But they have, like, sort of like a superhero-looking mask, and so they kind of do look like Halloween dogs, and so it's very cute. But I was like, oh, he's a Halloween dog. Anyhow, but um, Miss Lady will look that way as well. And Lady is currently the biggest puppy, and she's trying to be about 20 to 22 pounds. So, which is a really nice size. Actually, about the same size as Parka. 
You could be Mr. Parker's twin. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Come here, Penny. Come here. Come on. What's this? Come get it. Come on. Good girl. She's been really playful today, too. Hello, Miss Penny. So she was the next girl born. Penny's one of the Dalmatian puppies in um, 101 Dalmatians, but she doesn't look like a Dalmatian. But the name was cute, and my kids liked it, and I liked it because her collar is purple, so she's like purple Penny. So she looks a lot like her dad. Um, she's got quite a bit of tan in her coat with this dark stripe down her back, and um, markings like her dad, and you can see her cute nose. Oh, it's so cute. It will likely all fill in black um, very shortly here, but I think it's cute why they're all spotty and cute. Uh -huh, we love them. And she's also got lots of personality. She's one of um, sort of the middle range puppies in this litter. And she's trying to be between 16 and 18 pounds currently. Yes, you were playing and wandering around. Yes, you were. Are you going to come eat your sister? Come over here. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, Stitch, come here. Come on, little man. Oh, he's so tired and in the back corner. Um... So I'll grab Mr. Stitch. Stitch is from Lilo and Stitch. And so my kids think it's funny because Stitch isn't really a dog but an alien. But in the show they all call him a dog. Um, anyhow, this is Stitch and he looks a lot like Penny. In fact, we call them the twins because they're born one after the other and they look very similar. He's very cute. He's starting to be about 15 to 17 pounds. So about the same size as Penny as well. Um, so he's very cute, but he has got more gray. He's darker, a big stripe. He's got his white spot on his back. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, and he seems to be slightly noisier than his sister. Yes, I know. What are all these lights in my face, huh? So and he's very cute as well. We really like him. He wears a blue collar. These guys are all quite fluffy. You can't really see any of their collars. I am... Um, Hello, are you going to eat my hand? Here, come over here and eat it. Then you can see how cute you are. Mm-hmm. Yes. So they'll come and play. Yes, are you going to play? They'll play with us now. We'll start to the point now we'll start putting toys in, here, in the whelping box and things for them to play with as well. They can see things and put new things in here um, all the time so they keep everything different for them. And uh, we have this... We have these rails. There's two of them, and I know there's just one in because they'll climb out the whelping box like this now. So I have to put in the first little rail to keep them in. And, uh, yes, if not, they'll climb right out, and then soon we'll have to add the second one. Um, but they're very cute, and they're very smart. Um, yes, they're already starting to figure out potty training and everything else. So, and then this here, come here, is Miss Purdy. She's the smallest in the litter. She's also very cute and sweet. And so she's um, a piebald as well. I know you were sound asleep. You're like, what is going on? Um, but she's not as dark. Her markings aren't as dark. They're not as black. They're more this tan color. I think we'll end up gray. Yes, I know. You're like, why are you holding me up? I was sound asleep. I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, to go down. So they make a lot more noise at this age, partially because they're learning how to talk. She's like, I really wanted to sleep. She was playing up when I started the video, but then she wanted to go back to sleep. Um, she's quite sweet. Um, this is my other daughter's favorite puppy. She adores her. And so she gets lots of snuggles all of the time. Yes. Uh-huh. Are you tired? Yes. Um, so she's trying to be about 12 to 14 pounds, so the smallest in this litter. So those sizes are all sort of rough estimates. Um, they can still change quite a bit. So in the next week or so, I'll have a better idea, and I'll chart them against our other dogs again. This is also Frost and Arrow's first litter, so my estimates are approximate at best. Um, but we're pretty good. I haven't usually had puppies that I'm charting to be really small that get really large, or vice versa. Um, not in the last while. In the beginning, it was harder because... We had no comparisons, but now we have a pretty good grasp on how big our puppies will be. Um, but, of course, there's always a range in there. Um, and then we'll also know next week sort of eye color. I'll have a better idea, too, of coat color. And we'll start doing more of our puppy allocations next week. So this sort of week I'll send out another email 
to everyone on our waiting list sort of asking who's still interested, what puppies are most interested in, that sort of a thing. And then start, start sort of working our way down the list to sort of see who's first and who's looking at what. Um, and then we will start allocating their homes. Um, for people who want these puppies and they're not on our waiting list or who want puppies from us, the information is right here. So um, you can, let's see here, it helps if I put it on the right thing. So our email address is on there, which is how you can get a link to our puppy application, um, which is just sort of a little bit about you and a little bit about what you're looking for. Um, we do much more in-depth interviews uh, further along because we know a lot can change. You could be on the list for quite a while and what you think you want when you initially get on the list versus later can change. Um, there's no, we don't ask for a deposit to be on our waiting list. We, you're happy, you walk on our list for as long or short as you like. So you have some people who get on our list who want a puppy right away. Others who say, you know, we're, want, we're waiting for a couple of years for this reason or for that. Or other people who are just not in a hurry and just waiting for the perfect puppy and all of that is fine. Um, and then when each letter's born, we sort of send out emails and figure out who's ready, who's not, and who's looking for what, and who's interested in what puppies. And then we just work our way down our waiting list to sort of um, to fit the right puppy to the right family. And uh, we do, I always tell people that you know your life and we know the puppies, so we sort of make a decision together on which puppy's best suited for your family, which we do a lot based on temperament because all puppies are cute. Um... And you'll fall in love with any puppy. Um, but health and temperament is what you live with for the next, you know, 12 to 16 years. So we want to make sure that we're pairing the right puppies to the right families. And um, we get them also, once we know what the puppies are going home to, what kind of family life, we make sure we're pairing, we're pairing, we're pairing the puppies for your life um, and for their trip home. And just, you know, for the world after here in general. But um, we do make a point to make sure we're we're getting them ready for for their new homes and so yeah come here puppy stitch come here I should bring frost back they're getting hungry um so we'll keep updating of course do daily updates on them we'll watch i have cute video we were feeding that we started feeding them this week and um so you can i'll post some videos this week of them having you know say solid food but the food's not really solid the first time they're eating but more solid food Yes, you're going to come eat my hands, yes. Um, and as they explore the whelping box more and as they do more things, we'll continue to post updates. If you guys have questions, you can feel free to post them in the thread and I'll happily answer them for you. If you have questions, you can also check out our website. The link's there as well, which is shinnickpomsky.com and there's lots of information there. Also, um, our Facebook page probably is updated the most regularly with posts, you know, daily we also you know post all of our videos on youtube on our youtube channel and we post on instagram so um facebook does not allow you to sell you know animals as well as a bunch of other things so we don't do any um selling on there which we never have to because we just contact our waiting list um, but I feel like it's important to let people know about our other social media sites in case facebook decides to uh close down our page, which I've seen them do to some breeders. So um, because we don't sell puppies actively on our Facebook page, I don't think that will be an issue. I hope it won't be an issue for us, but we'll see because they change their rules as they want to. Um, but at this point, we haven't had any issues. Um, so, but again, if you want to keep us updated, you can follow us on Facebook, um, Instagram, and YouTube. They all are on there, and that is... Um, a great way to sort of watch and to see and to follow up on what we're doing with our puppies. And uh, and like I said, if you guys have questions, you can post them in the thread and I will happily answer them. And we will do another video next Sunday night and we'll continue to do them until they go home so you guys can watch them grow and change and see all the fun things they get to do. And next week we get to do it uh, down with all of the other dogs. Although we may not do the video down there, but we'll see. We'll see how Frost does. Um, but they'll start to go downstairs next, next week, which is very exciting and fun for us. So until next week, we will see you guys later. And again, for um, those of you who are new to watching, I'm Charlie from Chinook Pomskis. And yeah, we're based out of Calgary in Canada. And we breed the cutest popsy puppies color, ever. Uh, some of them a little bit, but not enough for me to tell for sure. So who asked that? 
Uh, I thought it was Nikki. I can al almost see the, th the comments. Um, I can tell Nikki my best guesses. Maybe not here. I'm not sure. Really oh, I guess you can probably hear. So he's just saying there's a question po um, posted if they can tell what colors. Hello, Frosty Floof. This is my Frosty Floof. This is the mom. Okay, Thanks, buddy. Hello, are you down there playing? You come and sit. She's like, I don't understand what we're doing. I don't understand this camera business. You come this way. This is Frosty. This is their mom. Yes, as you can see how beautiful she is. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's got this nice long coat. Come on, Frosty. Want to come in and feed the puppies? She's like, whatever. I'll take love and affection from you over feeding my puppies first. Um... So, but yeah, our eye color, I, they are starting to change a little bit, but I can't be certain on eye color just quite yet. But this is the, this is the next few days. A much better idea. So, she has, Frost has brown eyes. Well, they're not even quite brown. They're sort of more of a, a caramel color, an amber color. An arrow, Dad has two blue eyes. So we can have a wide variety of eye colors in our puppies. So we'll sort of get to watch and see for that. And, uh. And see what colors their eyes all turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's always the fun part. Um, now that they're all awake and active. Frost, go see Dad. Go see Dad. What's Dad doing over there? She's like, yeah, right. I get to lay on Mom's lap. Frost loves attention. She always has. We call her our cuddle bug. Yes. And that's like the only thing. She comes out of her box. She does. She gets a little bit of running around now. She plays a little more. The puppies don't need her quite as much. They nurse and they can be active and they don't need to nurse quite as frequently as they used to, especially now that they're getting solid food a little bit. Um, but so she gets to take a little bit more breaks, which she likes. Um, but she spends them. She spends probably one or two breaks downstairs playing with the other dogs, but for most of them, she'd rather just sit wherever I am and to be loved on. Yes. Yes. Yep. So, which is very cute. Are they biting you? Yeah, the puppies are all teething now. I don't know if you guys realize that. But puppies go through three teething stages, and the first one happens before they come home and they get their teeth right now. Uh-huh. They do, and they're all starting to get their teeth. My kids always like watching for that because it's sort of cute when they get their teeth. But they are. Are they making noise? I always think it's cute to hear them squeaking and playing with each other. It's very cute. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to post them. I'll watch the thread and try to answer the questions in the thread as well. i to use this. And, um, but if not, I will, um, of course, you guys can ask them on our page as well. But I'll rest. Come on. She won't let me stop the video. Yes, good girl. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any questions, just post them. I'll happily answer them, and we will see you all next week.